Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a simple cardboard jig to do five wooden keychains engraving in the, at the same time. We're going to use uh, blue painter's tape to help us reinforce it here in a little bit, and we'll show you how all that put, is put together. But first, let's show you the design. So here's my keychain. I scanned it in just to make sure everything was going to fit about right. I took the diameter of it. And I made a circle that like the outside diameter, and you can kind of see how it yeah, fits there pretty good. I, you know, I could play with it a little bit, make it fit a little bit better, but that's close enough for the video. So, also I wanted to mark the circle inside that with this diameter, using this little piece right here as the the new diameter. So, so what I mean by that is, let me show you this. I drew this circle to where it would fit inside that one. And then be on the edge of this. That way, any graphics I put in there will be in the center. And we won't have it bleeding over and not fitting because of this piece of leather here. So, I'm going to pull those back. And show you how I put this together. This little piece here, I'll go ahead and show you that too. This little piece represents the little leather piece. I wanted that in there so I could make sure that that would fit down through my cardboard. And you'll see that here in a minute. So I'm going to take the first circle, the outside circle. I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to select the inside circle by clicking on it. Hold the shift button down, click the sec outside circle. To select both of them on the keyboard i'm going to hit press e and c and that will make sure it's even and centered in that other circle then i want to put the leather this little piece for the leather piece in there so i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to put select that one select the inside circle hit e and c put that right in the middle deselect everything select the inside part again and drag that down you can hold the shift button down while you're dragging it so it doesn't move left and right and get that right on the edge just like that so everything is centered left and right and the circles are centered inside now so now I need more of those <clears throat> so let's select all of them just dragging or drag around each one hit control G to group them and I want to move them over uh, you know it doesn't have to be exact but a little bit over so you got a gap in there so I'm gonna grab I'm gonna hit plus that copies that design I'm gonna drag it straight over holding the shift button down so it doesn't it stays in line with it and just put a little gap in there and let go now, to make the others just like it, I hit Control D, Control D, and Control D. Makes a perfect copy of each one of those all the way across. I'm just going to do five right now. So now we need the rectangle. Well, this rectangle, you know, you can make it any size you want, but you need it to cut across where the leather pieces are. So in this case, instead of me just redrawing it, I'm going to hit the plus sign and drag it down just to show you how this works. So, surround everything. You can have more or less up here, more or less in the middle, whatever you want to do. So now I need to get rid of this, some of the stuff in here. So I'm going to select it all again. I'm going to hit Control U to ungroup it all. I'm going to take my virtual segment delete tool. And I'm going to delete, let me zoom in a little bit. I'm going to delete that piece, that piece, that piece, this piece, and this piece. I'm going to do that for every one of them. So I can drag and drop there. I can drag across it. Click there. Click there. Click there. Same thing again. All right, 
So now we've got our, our jig outline like we want it. <clears throat> so I'm going to select the whole thing again. And group it. Control G. And then I'm just going to pull it down on my... This represents the the board I'm going to be putting inside the, the laser to cut. And I'll let you see that here in a second. But basically that's all there is to it. So when it cuts, when it gets through cutting this, I'll explain to you why I needed the, the painter's tape and what it can do for you, especially for these little temporary uh, jigs. So we're going to go to the laser. I'll show you, give you that cut out, and then we'll be back after that to show you how the blue painter's tape plays a role. Thanks. Okay, so here's the jig that we cut out on the laser, and you'll see how it works. This is going to be upside down, so all my graphics will be upside down. But you just slide in, lay this on the laser where you know it's what it needs to be, and just slide these in until you got five of them across there, and then go ahead and do your engraving. Pop them out, put five more in, keep it, continue on. Now you'll see this, this is made of cardboard. So it's a little bit flimsy. You know, if you're gonna do a permanent, if you're gonna do this forever, you might wanna make it out of wood or some kind of an MDF. But you know, if you just have a temporary use for one, just make it out of cardboard. But also, another use of painter's tape is to enforce it a little bit. This thing will last much longer if you enforce it with some painter's tape. You know, if I was going to do this for my own, I would go ahead and cut this with a knife and make sure it was square and make it a whole lot a little pr more pretty. But, but since I'm just demoing this, I'm going to cut it. I'm going to just tear it off and put it on here. Yeah, I got it too short. Let's move it over a little bit. There we go. 
That's about right anyway, maybe just a little short. Smooth that down on this side. Fold this piece up. Help enforce it. And I didn't get this long enough, but you see, you get the point. So now it's much stronger. If you accidentally pull this off, this tape will help hold it. And at the same time, if one of your keychains is not quite the right spec, if it's too small or something, when you put that in there, push it in, that tape will help keep it in place so it doesn't move around. And then you pull that right back out, and you're done. So anyway, that's just another possible use for painter's tape. And that's a way you can make a real simple and cheap jig on a cardboard. We'll talk to you later. Please subscribe, hit that like, and leave comments below. Thanks.